In the heart of the Caribbean, nestled amidst lush tropical flora and azure waters, lies the sacred island paradise known as the Shakti Radha Shiva Krishna Tantric Kundalini Ayurvedic Tai Chi Yoga Love Temple Complex. Here, under the canopy of swaying palms and amidst the melody of ocean waves, Doc Kunda and Lini, revered spiritual guides, dedicated themselves to illuminating the path for the yogis and yoginis who sought solace and enlightenment in this mystical retreat. Each morning at dawn, the island awoke to the gentle sound of conch shells, signaling the start of the day's sacred teachings. Today, the lesson was from Satguru Sivaya Subramunya Swami's trilogy, a cherished guide for spiritual seekers. The lesson of the day, chosen from Dancing with Siva, was a profound exploration of sin and atonement. As the sun cast its first golden rays upon the temple complex, Doc Kunda gathered the assembled disciples beneath the grand banyan tree. The air was filled with a sense of reverence as he began, Sin is the intentional transgression of divine law. It is not an inherent stain upon our soul, but rather a shadow cast by our actions, born from ignorance and misunderstanding. He continued, his voice a soothing balm. Sin is real and must be avoided, for our wrongful actions return to us as sorrow through the law of karma. However, it is also terminable. Through sadhana, worship, and austerities, sins can be atoned for. This is the journey from ignorance to wisdom, from darkness to light. Lini, with her serene presence and deep wisdom, added, Our true nature remains unsullied by sin. It is only the lower, instinctive intellect that transgresses dharma. As we evolve spiritually, we feel the burden of our misdeeds and seek to atone, performing penance and seeking absolution from society and divine grace. The disciples listened intently, absorbing the profound truths. The teachings resonated deeply, illuminating their understanding of their spiritual journey. As the lesson concluded, Doc Kunda and Lini led the group in a meditation, allowing the wisdom to settle into their hearts and minds. Later in the day, as the sun reached its zenith, the focus shifted to a lesson from living with Siva. Lini addressed the eager seekers. Life is long, yet time is short. The purpose of Sampradaya is to guide us toward an attainable goal, to focus our efforts on one path and one guru, forsaking distractions and other teachings. She emphasized the importance of the yamas and niyamas, the ethical disciplines and practices that form the foundation of spiritual life. These are not merely guidelines, but obligatory disciplines that lead us from confusion into grace to the feet of the Satguru. Doc Kunda nodded in agreement. Each Sampradaya is a valid path, and no single path should be considered superior. It is through dedicated practice and personal experience that we realize the divine truths. This is the essence of Siddhanta Sravana, scriptural listening, which leads to personal illumination and carries us forward on our spiritual journey. As the evening approached, the final lesson of the day was from merging with Siva. The temple complex was bathed in the soft glow of twilight as Dot Kunda spoke. Through our extrasensory perception, we may hear the sounds of the universe, the symphony of creation. These experiences guide us, as the inner voice becomes a permanent yoga, helping us unravel the complexities of daily life. Linny added, her voice a gentle caress. The clear white light of consciousness nourishes our entire being, leading us to God-realization. It is a journey beyond the mind, into the timeless, formless self, the ultimate reality. As night fell, the yogis and yoginis gathered around a sacred fire, chanting the mantra, Om Namah Sivaya. The teachings of the day had illuminated their path, guiding them towards deeper understanding and spiritual growth. In this mystical Caribbean sanctuary, under the guidance of Doc Kunda and Lini, the seekers found solace, wisdom, and the eternal light of the self. Their journey was one of continuous learning, transformation, and merging with the divine essence, as the island whispered the eternal truths of Satguru Sivaya Subramunya Swami's teachings.